for your girl. That's right, that's right, for podcast. It's pop for your girl. It's gonna come back to you. Yeah, that's so good. Cause it's like you can't even your mindset should never be number one, your mindset should never be my faith is in my money or what I can produce or what right. I have because that can change in the blink of an eye. Woo, like blink of that. Financial literacy and, and planning and all planning for anything, insurance, anything that we have yes. is because we're being responsible adults. It's not because those things are fully secure. Right. They're not. Right. And then secondly, like we should just be good people, period. Mm-hmm. So if you see somebody struggling, even if you know, like, this person is not going to pay me back. Like, okay. <laughs> nine times out of ten, if unless I need it back, I'm just going to give it to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. That doesn't mean I'm unless giving Unless you out- see a pattern. Right. Now, if they right, keep coming different. back to you, like, ten times and they still ain't gave you back. Well, I'm not about to you support your I mean? family. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Unless, unless you really genuinely fell on hard times and it's not like you said like a pattern but that's right. where the con- you need to have a conversation like we gotta talk we gotta talk we <laughs> but gotta I just mean like just genuinely like there are people out there who just that you know that genuinely may just need some help and mm-hmm. they genuinely may even want to pay you back and so they're saying I'm gonna give you this money back because they want to do the right thing right. but you know they don't have the ability to so instead yeah. of being mad at them and having false expectations even mm-hmm. though they may be the ones that put that out there just realize like be the person to step up and say you don't have to worry about it right like i got you right. you know what i'm saying and if everybody came together and did that like imagine how further along we could be just yeah. by loving each other yeah even you know from an entrepreneurial standpoint like you know just giving giving through you know your business like when it comes to um giving away stuff like mm-hmm. sometimes like i'll give away a free t-shirt or i'll give away a skirt or something like that you know what i mean and not necessarily say like you know dag like you know, I could have made a profit off yeah, of that. Or, yeah. you know, sometimes we think about the profit, we think about the return or whatever, but it's just, you know, even that good energy, mm-hmm. like putting that energy out there because, you know, we think about it and it's like, I, I want to talk about character. Like literally, like you being able to lend somebody something, it builds character mm-hmm. until, you know, where you're trying to go in life. Yeah. It builds character in your faith it builds character and you know t- going to a new level mm-hmm. to a level of before i wasn't able to do that yep but now i'm able to do that so what else can i conquer what else can i change about myself what else what a- other fear can you know i let go of mm-hmm. because you know sometimes we're afraid of things but it even challenges your your fear you know like going from a place of i'm afraid to let this go to a place of okay, I let it go, and God still provided. Yeah, you know what I mean. So just just being in that, and you said something too about um, just being a good person because you see the need. Yeah, um, and that goes into our next se- segment, the lift every voice segment, which is all about community. How can we support our community? How can we help our community? If you see somebody, you know, struggling, if somebody do come to you, it may not be a thousand dollars. But, you know, they may just need their phone bill paid. Mm-hmm. You know, their lights may be about to cut off. Can you help pay my light bill? You know what I mean? And, you know, you, how can we help our community? Because a lot of times we could be so quick to help an individual or organization outside of our community. Mm-hmm. You know, not saying that it's a, that that's right. bad what you're doing. But, you know, sometimes it could be your neighbor that simply needs help. And, you know, when you help your neighbor, in a sense, I'm not saying you're you're, help, you're trying to help yourself, but when you help your neighbor, you know, your property value goes up, mm-hmm. like Monopoly. Like when you buy up the block of Monopoly, yeah. the value of the, the neighborhood, it goes up, you know? So it's, it's so... You have, we have to start looking at community. So, you know, for the lift every voice segment, um, what would you say to any other person out there or even to your younger self about, you know, any financial advice or anything about finances that we can teach our community, our Mm -hmm. younger 
you know, our young people out there about finances right now. Yeah. I just um, actually wrote on Facebook the other day that I wanted to maybe do a workshop. I don't know what COVID is saying about that, <laughs> about my little <laughs> workshop, but for the, for younger people, especially mm-hmm. like teens, cause like right, I have right. nieces that, you know, are young adults right now. And I'm just like, man, you guys are in such a good position. Yes. So like, so that's the first thing to realize is like, your mom, your dad, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, yes. your cousins, they you may have seen poverty your whole life, right. but you literally have a clean slate yes. financially. Um, like mm. if Ooh. you are a minor, you're about to be an adult, your birthday's coming, you're about to turn 18, yes. whatever the case may be, like <laughs> you haven't screwed up yet, you have a clean Look. slate, don't do it. Like debt, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, first of all, <laughs> build up your, your self-discipline. Because yes. when it comes to your credit, yes. self-discipline is the key. It's debt Everything debt big. can be helpful. I'm not saying, like, debt is completely wrong, but there are so many ways to use it that you can't... It's not about, oh, I got this credit card in my pocket mm-hmm. and I'm hungry. Let me swipe it. Right. Oh, I want these shoes. And, I, you know, I ain't got no cash. Let me swipe it. If you don't right. have the cash, Woo. then you should not be swiping. Be swiping <laughs> Period. Because people don't talk about interest rates now. Exactly. Look, sis... I, when I first got my cre- first credit card, I did not understand why I only spent $500, but within two months, now I owe, the balance is 700 Yeah. Like, what? Like, right. how the balance go from 500 to 700 And yeah. it's because of the interest rates. It's because of fees. It's because of, you know, late fees on top of that. Like, you don't pay and then you have a late fee. Like, all Companies are not. So, we talked about before, like, us helping each other, right? So, mm-hmm. you can you might give somebody, oh, can I loan $500? I'm going to give it back to you. You're expecting $500 back. Right. Companies are not looking at us like, let me be a good person and let exactly. me love on you and let you borrow $500. <laughs> no, there's a reason why they're doing it. It's because it's a business and they're going to make money off of it. Exactly. That money is called interest. Yes. So, it's... Do not, if the one thing I would suggest for young people is like, if you're going to go like build your credit for mm-hmm. sure, have, have self-discipline. If you don't have self-discipline, do not deal with Ooh, credit, period. It's better it. to not even build your credit than it is to go in debt because you didn't have self-control. Like exactly. a lot of people say, oh, bad, no credit is just as bad as bad credit. In the as far as your credit score is concerned, maybe, but in the grand scheme of things, it's better to not even touch it yes. than to go into debt because debt is like... Mm-hmm. It's hard. It's, it's tough. It really is. It and it's really stressful. Is. Yes. And it's, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like, um, also with school loans. Yeah. Like, um, y'all young folks out there, apply to these scholarships. Yes. Apply to these grants. Like, try get to your get, grades up. Ooh, like, can please. you do good in school so you can get a scholarship, please. an academic scholarship? I'm trying to tell. <laughs> we trying to tell y'all. Look. Listen to us. A free ride, a right. scholarship, like anything Any money. you can do. Any money. <laughs> <laughs> Any money. Talk to your family. If you got a big family, how can they contribute to your college fund? All that good stuff. Because these college loans, you will be in debt forever. Mm-hmm. So please, please, please listen to us. Listen to what we're saying. Because we're just trying to help out help out our community. Okay? And debt at first, like when you first get into it, it feels like it's the easy route. But you'll la- you'll realize later, later on, on that yes. dang, this was the harder route. Like That's even if you have to work, you. like there's a lot of people that work through college. Like they mm-hmm. might work a little job here so they can pay for their classes and stuff like that. Even if it takes you two, three years longer, you're yeah. 18. You trust me, you can spare those couple extra couple of extra years. There are plenty of people like myself who took a little longer to get their yes. bachelor's degree. You can spare those couple extra years if you need to work through it and know it won't be easy but it'll be worth it so that when you're done you can be mm-hmm. done and free <laughs> yeah like it it makes no sense like that's look i might have to do a whole nother podcast about that but <laughs> we're not gonna talk about how you can get a college loan before you can get a business loan right. okay that's, Y'all gotta, yes exactly you have to re- just, tap into right. that right exactly. there tap into that right there you can get a college loan Okay, free all this money. It's not free money. Okay, like you're good. The thing about with um with and I'm gonna just say this real quick with college loans, it's debt that never goes away. You can file bankruptcy. You can you know request a forbearance. You 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 can't file bankruptcy and get rid of your college loans. Right. You can't do it. It's always <laughs> gonna be there. So that means if you're going through a financial hardship. You could get a forbearance and you can get, you know, mm-hmm. the payments Delayed, lower yeah, or something like that. that. But when you get your money back up, 
and you making that check, they coming for the government mm-hmm. coming for their money. Okay, it's not and like, as they should. We we should and that's I think that's an like okay. So this is just my opinion. We should not be borrowing money and then turn around and say. Can you just give it to me for free? I know for I bar- I know I entered like- into this agreement with you and I know I said that I was going to pay you back, but can you just forget about that? Like mm-hmm. that I just feel like there's so many things wrong with that mentality. Like mm-hmm. would you appreciate it if somebody did that to you? Like if they said, "Hey, let me borrow this $500 like we yeah. talked about, I'm pay you back in in 2 weeks." And they come back and be like, "I know I said I was going to pay you back, but can you just forget about that?" Right. <laughs> like what you mean? You right. You right. <laughs> and that's what we talking about too. Like, "Nah, you can't you can't do that." Yeah. <laughs> But so now I feel you. But at the end of the day, it's all about, you know, you setting up a foundation now Mm -hmm. that in the long run, you don't regret later. Like regardless, if you do have to pay those college loans back or regardless on, you know, if you got to, you know, go into forbearance or if you get a scholarship, just set that foundation up so that, you know, later on, you don't have no regrets. Okay. And I think that like, that's just credit debt and all that is just one side to it, but also start saving. Like if you're young, chances are you don't have a lot of responsibilities. You don't have a family yeah. yet. You don't have kids. Yes. Kids are expensive. Yes. Being married Crazy. is expensive. Yeah. Like, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Like a double income is nice and all of that, but it's still like, you still have more expenses with mm-hmm. that. So it's like all of these new responsibilities that you take on, if you ever want to own a home, which is a whole nother topic, all of that mm-hmm. costs you know, money. And so it's like, while you have a little bit of responsibility, save, even if you feel like you're not saving a lot, keep saving, like be consistent. Yes, even please. if you can only put $5, which you should be saving more, but okay. even if you can only afford to put $5 away every paycheck, do it mm-hmm. and start as soon as possible. And mm-hmm. the same thing, everything is about starting as soon as possible. Start building your credit as, as soon as possible. Start saving as soon as possible. Start yes. investing as soon as possible because yes. time is what matters. Time yes. is what's going to build your wealth. Amen. Amen. I agree with that. And we hear that. You hear that all the time growing up. I know this ain't the first time y'all heard it, but please start doing it. Cause some of y'all got checking accounts where you can automatically just pull that money out, put it on $5, put it on the, like mine is set to 20, where it just automatically deducts every two weeks or every month into my savings account. Okay. So do you, even if you got to do that, you got to do something yeah. because you know, saving it, it, in the long run, it don't feel good at first, but in the long run, it just sets you up for greatness. Um, But I'm super excited that I have my sis, Zaina, on the show with yes, me yes, today, yes. y'all. So we we going to head on over to the last segment, y'all. Um, And y'all know I love to do the thought of the day, okay? And so today, Zaina, she does this thing, y'all. Y'all got to go sh- follow her um, social media What's your social media, Zaina, so they can follow you? It's at Call Me Zaina. So that's Call Me Z A Y N A H. Y'all, follow her because she posts tips and she does this little thing called wallet check, y'all. So I thought it would be fun to just give y'all my personal wallet check. Okay. So my wallet check today is Did you check your wallet for God? That's Mm -hmm. my thought of the day. Did you check your wallet for God? Based off of everything we just talked about, you guys. Um, lending, being becoming the lend- lender and not the borrower, you know, not allowing ourselves to feel that that spirit of fear when it comes to letting go of our money, when it comes to investing, when it comes to even saving, because that's woo, woo, that's a revelation. <laughs> when it comes to saving your money, you can even have a fear like, you know, I ain't got nothing to save, mm-hmm. but you got something to save. OK, so my thing is, did you check your wallet for God? Like and and I'm not talking about go and look in your wallet or your purse and see. <laughs> God like, hey, God, in there. <laughs> <you're> there? <laughs> nah, he ain't in there like that. But at the end of the day, it just goes into putting that faith behind your check, mm-hmm. putting that faith behind your coin, like whatever you're giving, whatever you're lending, like, you know, you're trusting in it. You're trusting that God is going to make a way. You're trusting that God is going to bless it. You're trusting that God is going to touch it. And he all in through your finances, he in yeah. your bank account. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Be, I mean, we all, I think as Christians, we always talk about being a good steward. Mm-hmm. And so yes, it's good. like, you are you being a good steward over right. your finances? Is God pleased with what you're doing with your finances? 
you know, do you feel convicted about anything, any ways mm. that you're using your money? And mm. there's so there's so many things to be felt. Yeah, while the check right <laughs> feel convicted about like, are you wasting <laughs> it on, you know what I'm saying, eating out all the time? Mm. Are you buying I'm things guilty. that, you know, are unhealthy for you, mm. whether that's spiritually or physically? Mm-hmm. Um, there's so many, so many ways that you can sin with your money. Yeah. And and you're actually hurting yourself, Ooh. not just for today, but in the long run too. Ooh. You talking, sis. You talking. Like, and I, sometimes I do go through my um checking account and I see like all the fast food, all of the unnecessary. You know, we could have just went grocery shopping. Yes. And when I'm leaving the grocery <laughs> store, you know, the 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 Glenwood Kroger, they know they wrong because they put a Chick-fil-A right next to the grocery <laughs> store. And it's like, as soon as you leave, leave in the grocery store, the, the, the energy that you lose from walking around, pushing the cart, yeah. it make you hungry. That's different so, though. That's different. Okay, okay. I mean, you treat yourself, pass. don't teach yourself. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm not okay, saying okay. live a life where it's like, can't have any fun, can't do anything <laughs> that I like, can't have anything that I want. But all of that is in moderation. Like, don't live like a robot because you're going to be miserable. It's like, it's not worth it. You yes. know, at, at that point until you actually see your bank account going higher because you ain't spending anything you can also if you would it sacrifice Mm -hmm. but if you want to you know have a balance which is something that i prefer to do Mm -hmm. go ahead and have a balance but count how much money is coming out of your account because every time you swipe because fast food is not five dollars like that anymore sometimes it's five ten fifteen dollars depending on where you you might spend twenty dollars and that adds up quickly it shows Ooh, quickly. I, I love what you said about moderation. Um, I think Maya Angelou, she has a quote um, where she says, um, moderation, even for your moderation. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like sometimes like we're like, OK, let me moderate how much money I spend on fast food. But I like how you said treat yourself. And that's what she's talking about. Like you even moderate your moderation because you don't want to be too strict on yourself. Mm-hmm. To the point where, you know, and I feel like that strictness, it causes you to be like, I'm done saving. Like, mm-hmm. I done, you know, I'm over saving. Now I don't have no money for myself. Yeah. I don't have no money to enjoy life. I don't have money to, you know, do the things that I want to do. So, you know, I think that, you know, just bringing everything home, even when it comes to, you know, checking your wallet for God, just making sure that you know, God is also adding balance to your life mm-hmm. and that you're, you're putting prayer on top of things and you, you have a certain level of direction yeah, when it comes sure. to saving, when it comes to, you know, so you're not just, you saving, but you saving with a purpose mm-hmm. and you saving with a plan. So once you meet that, that goal, you're like, okay, I was saving up for this new car. Here it is. Like I, I got it. But then when you meet that goal, don't turn around and be like, Oh, you know what? I'm afraid to take this leap and even use what my savings for what I saved it mm-hmm. for. Like, no, I'm gonna just save, keep saving it, and keep saving it, and keep sa- saving yeah. it. And now you can't, you know, enjoy what you initially wanted to do. Um, it's so many ways that fear can come in with yeah. finances, but that's something that we we really have to overcome as a community. Like, we really have to overcome that. I love what you said. One of my favorite wallet checks that I posted on Instagram was like, does your, and I don't remember what it says verbatim, but pretty much does your spending habits line up with your priorities? Mm -hmm. And so I think what you said about direction is so important because it's, it's important to know what you want in life to identify that because not everybody's budget and not everybody's percentage of what they save should be the same. None of that should be the same because we're all different. We're all yes, unique and yes, and all yes. of our goals are different. Now, the one thing we should do is definitely save like an emergency fund. They say you should save three to six months of your ex- your monthly good. expenses. Yes, that's So good. that when things happen, like this COVID situation, people mm-hmm. that have done that, mm-hmm. they had a, a little bit of a sense of, okay, you know, if I lose my job, yeah, yeah, I need to turn around and find one, but I have a little bit of a cushion. We're not going to go hungry. We're not going to be homeless and yes. things like that. And we don't have to depend on the government to do that for us. Yes. But um, just knowing what kind of life you want to live, being able, you know, if you want to be a giver, like being generous is so important to me and being able to help people is important to me. But if I don't Mm -hmm. work on building my finances and if I don't have anything to give, Mm -hmm. then I will never achieve that goal. So it's like you have to know what kind of life, like what would you spend your time doing? How would you spend your money if you didn't have to work? Yes. 
That's really good. Like, y'all, I'm going to have to have Zayna come back through here, okay? Because <laughs> this was really good. Like, I hope you feel like you grew a little, like you matured a little bit with your a little talk. finances. Yes, <laughs> okay? We, okay. We got, we leveled up today, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. She definitely going to come back, y'all. So I want you guys to comment. What you learned? What was your most valuable tip, MVT? Okay, comment that. Let us know how you felt about today's podcast. And hit Zayna up at Call Me Zayna on her IG, um, or on Facebook. Um, and just, you know, t connect with her. Connect. If y'all need any advice, hit her up. If y'all need help financial planning for your personal, you know, tip, let, just hit her up, okay? Because she good. Because this was, this was edifying to me. Okay, and I want y'all to do me a favor to go follow us on Instagram, follow us on um, SoundCloud, follow us on YouTube, okay? Y'all, this was good. This was really, really good. It so, was. Thank you for having me. This was fun. Look, we celebrate you, sis, because I'm, I'm just happy for you. We, we celebrate the culture. We celebrate it's the culture. It's for the culture. Hey, I ain't get it from myself. It's for the culture. the culture. Okay, but we love y'all. We are here for you guys anything y'all need just hit us up and until next time it's pop for your girl